Hello viewers, today I am working on this BMW E60 which should be 2.5 diesel engine but right now it has something different inside. So yeah, the owner decided to increase it with the power of this engine and uh, he have swapped several parts and he have made this car 3.5 diesel. Yeah, of course this is 3 liter once again but uh, with the two turbochargers which doesn't matter ab about this video. So I have been criticized why I don't have a video for testing this type of pressure valves, actuators, valves or how do you wanna call it, which is controlling the, the waste gates of this engine. I have a video for the other type of pressure actuators but on the 3.5 diesel and on the newer N57 engines they have started working with this type of actuators which are looking like that. I'm, I'm going to post in the description below a video about the testing of the other type of generation pressure valves which still you can find it on E60 and in, in E39 but yeah the new type of tweeters are looking like that and this is the idea of this video today I'm going to show you how to test them okay so in these engines we have two valves uh, right now I have removed the first one which is here uh, which is controlling this waste gate and uh, the other one is right here which is controlling uh, yeah it's going to be hard to show you what the vacuum line goes underneath the bigger turbocharger so let's see how we're going to determine is the pressure actuator bad or good so as we can see yeah, let me go on a better shadow so for those of you that, he, that have watched the other video, probably this is going to be pretty much familiar. I'm going to use just a regular battery to provide power and ground to the actuator, which is going to activate it of course. And with the vacuum gun, I'm going to supply a vacuum of course. And we're going to see what is supposed to happen with a good and with a bad pressure actuator. So, once again, I have just connected two of my leads inside. So they are looking just like that, isolated, so to not to not touch to each other. And I'm just going to connect it here inside. So the power wire goes on the top where the white dot is, and the black one goes underneath where this flange is located. So actually, this actuator here is from the car, which is right now on the lift. So this is the actuator from the car. And I'm going to show you how it works out, just a few words. In the car, the vacuum supply goes here, which actually, if you take a closer look, you're going to see on the back that it has stated vac, which means the vacuum, and out means outlets, which means what it's supposed to control. In our case, the wastegate of the turbochargers. On the top here, we can see that we have at which means atmosphere. So inside here, there should be uh, something like a filter, which is dropping out the excessive vacuum, which goes to the actuator. Let's say when when it opens up or when it's provided with a vacuum, it goes out of this filter. So when it's not needed, it's going in the atmosphere. So, but when we actuate it from the puck here with the power ground this vacuum should go through these holes and it should move or do whatever it should supposed to do so now I'm going to su supply a power and ground here and we're going to see what's happening but before that as we can see this is booked with a boat so right now we don't have any connection to that atmosphere and if I use my vacuum gun as we can see right now it's connected to the bottom port If I start using the vacuum gun, as we can see, it's not holding anything. It goes straight out of the, the valve here, from the filter to the atmosphere, so it cannot hold any vacuum at all. Okay. So, now, once again still, the puck is not connected, so I'm going to supply now power and ground, and we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, so the power and ground is connected to the actuator. As you can see, yeah, it's a little bit more wiring than that needed, but uh, still, 
The red one goes to the battery positive and the black one goes to battery neg negative. As we can see right now, the, uh, the earth is connected, the negative cable and now I'm just going to connect the positive wire with the vacuum gun. I'm going to do the same once again, the outlet is blocked with the bolt. Let's make a good connection in the bolt ports. So, as we can see, pretty much the same. The vacuum goes out somewhere pretty rapidly and I cannot hold it no matter how fast I pumping up the vacuum gun. So this is the actuator from the car which I am working on. So now let me disconnect it. And now I'm going to take different actuator which I have. I have two of them which actually one of my subscribers left me to have them for testing purposes. Best regards to Mehmet, which left his actuators here. So to have something to test. So in total we have three pressure actuators for testing. This one is removed from the car, which we are suspicious about that it's not working. Like the other one. This one is pretty much brand new one from Pierreburg. And this one is once again OEM Genian BMW pressure actuator like this one but still this is relatively old pressure actuator it's not a brand new one the only brand new one is this one so yeah in total we have two pressure actuators to make a comparison between this one which we are thinking that is bad and the other ones which I pretty much know that they are in good condition the both of them so let's do this comparison and see what is going to be the difference and how you're going to be able to test these actuators. So we're going to start with this one. Once again, this is an old genuine one BMW actuator as we can see BMW. Okay, I'm just going to connect vacuum hoses. So to have something to connect to. So this is going to be once again the vacuum supply. Once again, I'm going to block the other vacuum hose which should go to the wastegate in this case so like that and as you can see it's blocked and now once again i'm going to connect the powering ground like that now the vacuum the vacuum gun like that and once again, the power, so to make contact, so once again, it's actuated, and as we can see, yeah, the vacuum is dropping, but it's holding for a much, much longer period of time than the other one. This is impossible with the other one. So, this is once again, actually let me show you, if I pump it once again and if I disconnect, let's see what I'm doing, I'm going to pump it once again and if I disconnect rapidly the power, the vacuum is going to go down rapidly, like that. So, this is uh, the other genuine one, which once again is old one, it's not a new actuator and yeah, I don't have a brand new original pressure actuator but I have a new pure work one okay this is the one which I have which is almost a brand new one I believe this has around six months of usage and once again big thumbs up to Mehmet which he left me this for testing purposes so once again going to do the same going to connect the vacuum lines the powering round okay connected i'm going to connect the power like that it's almost all the time when you are connecting the power you should see some spark like in our case which means that you are making a good connection so now once again i'm going to pump the vacuum gun and once again we're going to see that vacuum the vacuum is dropping but it's much more slower 
done the uh, yeah I'm going to show you once again with the other one which is faulty so once again uh, this is normal to have some droppage on other type of actuators vacuum actuators it was doing the same even with a brand new one from the box you have some droppage in the vacuum when you uh, you are doing the same as we do, we are doing it and here when, when we disconnect it drops out rapidly so let me do it one more time so this is how sl slow is dropping and once again if we disconnect it so let me do once again the comp comparison with the old one which is 40 uh, so once again the actuator from the car is connected the powers and grounds and now see once again the difference how rapidly the vacuum is dropping and as you can see just to show you the proof of concept the both wires are connected and I cannot do any vacuum is dropping like it's disconnected. Let me see what's the difference. I don't know which one is faster. But yeah, the difference is pre pretty obvious. And uh, this is how to test them. Once again, you're going to need a power ground. You're going to want to block this vacuum hose here so to see how fast the vacuum is going to drop. As, as we saw, it should be relatively slow and yeah, it should not hold it completely once again, this was like on the other type of actuators once again, the video is going to be in the description which even with a brand new one from the box you are going to have some droppage in the vacuum so this is pretty normal and uh, pretty much this is how to test these pressure actuators it's not big of a deal and once again, because a lot of people have criticized me that I haven't put a video about this and I have put only for the other type of pressure actuators I decided to do this brief video about this so yeah, hopefully it's going to be interesting for some of you guys once again, I believe these pressure actuators is pretty much the same on the N57 engines by that I mean the newer generation BMWs F10 and uh, F30 and so on so probably it's going to be helpful for some of you guys so thank you for watching and see you in the next video